with your eyes I get a hint of the perfume that I like Wear it like a disguise I come around with the perfect alibi A midnight pouring my heart out like it's water Tick tock, you know this night ain't getting younger Feels like chasing a star up and down in the sky Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am tackling my kids' extremely disgusting room and I am doing a deep clean on it. So actually, I recently purchased some new cleaning tools to clean his disgusting room and so I thought that I would share this process with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Even though my son's bedroom looks like it's pretty clean, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it is pretty disgusting. It is extremely filthy and it needs a good deep clean. I honestly haven't done the deep cleaning because I've been putting off getting the cleaning tools that I needed to do the deep cleaning and I just honestly didn't want to invest the money in them because honestly, some of the products can be on the more expensive side and I didn't want to spend the extra money but I finally decided that I really needed to invest in some good cleaning tools so that I could do some deep cleaning on areas like my son's bedroom throughout my house that desperately needed a good clean. I did wind up purchasing a steam mop and honestly this is perfect for floors. It also has an attachment that you can deep clean some areas that are pretty disgusting and filthy throughout your home. So I thought this would be the perfect cleaner to use in my son's bedroom. His carpet in there is absolutely disgusting. So I wanted to try it out on his bedroom rug. And then I also wanted to try it on his mattress in his room. His mattress is pretty dingy, even though it's pretty new. But let's face it, my son is four and he is currently potty training. He's on a feeding machine. And so let's just be honest and say that his room can be pretty gross and definitely needs some deep cleaning in certain areas. So I figured this would be perfect to try out on all these areas. And then I also wanted to try it out on a few other areas after I finished up in his bedroom. So I will be adding those into the video as well. I did include a chart that has all of the different areas that this particular steamer will clean around your home. So if you'd like to take a moment to check that out, just go ahead and pause the video. And it was also pretty inexpensive. I think I spent like 50 bucks on it on Amazon. So like I said, if you are interested in trying this particular steam mop out for yourself, I will link it down below for you.
It is so satisfying to get the cleaning of my son's bedroom done. Recently, I did do a massive clean, declutter, and organize in my kids' bedrooms. And I'm going to be honest with you, the bedroom transformation was so satisfying to see. And I absolutely loved the outcome in my kids' bedrooms. They looked so completely different. And not to mention having a disgusting, filthy bedroom completely cleaned is just an amazing feeling. I washed all of these clothes, but they tend to make my son's room look even more filthy. So I wanted to go ahead and get those folded and put away. And then I decided to go ahead and just pick up anything that doesn't belong and get all of that decluttered and organized so that it looks more clean in his bedroom. Like I said before, tackling Ethan's bedroom has been done in previous videos, but not to this particular level. The bedroom cleaning transformation has been a very long process, and I have spent a, an obscene amount of time doing a massive deep clean on my son's bedroom. So if you want to see my son's bedroom transformation and you want to see the entire deep cleaning process, like I said, I will link that down below for you. And you guys can definitely see the before and afters because they are so satisfying to see. But with that said, my kids will usually help clean their bedrooms weekly and they tend to make their beds usually daily, but sometimes I will go in and make them for them. But my son Ethan is only four, so for him... Cleaning his bedroom is usually picking up toys and helping make his bed. Deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing his bedroom is something that is usually done at different times throughout the year, and it's usually something that I do. I prefer to do the deep cleaning in my son's bedroom because I'm much more pickier than he is, and I definitely want to have a massive satisfying clean in there especially when my son's room is extremely gross disgusting nasty whatever you want to call it I just prefer to do the deep cleaning myself in there Before I used this new uh, steam cleaner on Ethan's rug, I wanted to make sure that his bedroom was completely vacuumed. All of the floor was completely vacuumed along with this area rug so that I could go ahead and steam clean his bedroom floor, but also steam clean the rug that was in his bedroom as well. Kids tend to be more on the messier side at times, at least my kids do, so my expectations are not for them to have an immaculate bedroom all the time. I am more on the realist side and know that my kids are going to be messy at times, so for me and my family, my expectations are for them to keep their rooms tidy, but I also want them to be able to enjoy their rooms and be able to make a mess in there at times. 
If you have different expectations than I do, that does not necessarily mean you are wrong or that I am right. Every family is different and what works best for you and your family is what works best for you and your family. This is just what works for my family and my kids. I am curious, how do you clean a super messy kid's room? Is it something that you prefer to tackle yourself or do you have your kids come in and help you do it? The steam mop was really easy to heat up. It took like 10 seconds, if that. It was super quick. Adding the water was really easy. So overall, I loved how easy the product was to use and it did a immaculate job on Ethan's room floors. Honestly, the floors were so clean and I have no complaints about the bedroom floors. They turned out amazing and I love the fact that I could deep clean his bedroom floors without having to use any kind of chemicals on them. The first area that I wanted to deep clean in Ethan's bedroom was the floor. So I went ahead and made sure I moved the rug out of the way along with all of his toys so that I could get the floor behind all of his toys nice and cleaned. This particular steam mop has a ton of different attachments for different areas that you want to deep clean, whether it is deep cleaning the mattress or even if you want to deep clean the bedroom rugs. There are also attachments for areas that have a lot of grime and gunk on them that you want to clean, which is perfect if you have a messy kid's bedroom like my kids. There was so much gunk on the floor from my son's feeding machine. So I did test this particular area out and I'm going to be honest, this was so easy to get up with the steam mop. There was some areas that I wasn't crazy about how it deep cleaned and I will share that with you, but the mop itself was really, really easy to put together.
the rug i went ahead and put that down and tested out a small area i'm one of those like i want to test out a small area to see how it does before i waste my time on the entire area or run something so i did do a small area on the rug with this steamer and i'm going to be honest it didn't do anything the rug didn't look any different i was not impressed as far as the deep cleaning of Ethan's bedroom rug went it really didn't do much for me so I just decided to scrap that idea and I will be coming back at a later time and deep cleaning Ethan's bedroom rug with the carpet cleaner that I purchased I have a feeling that that's going to do a much better job so I'm super excited to see the outcome because honestly his bedroom rug is nasty and definitely needs a good deep clean. So I'm excited to do that. And then I also tested it out on his mattress. Like I said, my son is potty training and his bed can definitely get pretty disgusting at times. So I wanted to see how well it did on his bedroom mattress as well. And to be honest, it was the same outcome. It did not do very well at all. So I decided that I would be using my cleaner on the mattress as well in a future video. So like I said, if you guys are excited to see the outcome of that as well, make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on that. With that said, this particular cleaner does do an amazing job on some other areas of the house. So don't click off of the video. Make sure you continue watching because the outcome of this particular steam cleaner on other areas is amazing and is worth the wait and worth the watch i also purchased a carpet cleaner and this particular cleaning tool is really good for cleaning bedroom mattresses it is also really good for cleaning the bedroom rugs or if you have carpet in your home, it is really good for cleaning carpet. You can clean things like sofa. And I have even saw on there where you can deep clean your car if you have a car or something that needs deep cleaning. I'm going to be testing that particular product out in a, another cleaning video that will be posted to my cleaning channel very soon. So if you are brand new and you have not gotten a chance to check out my channel before or you are just checking out today's video and haven't had a chance to subscribe or you are very interested in seeing that particular video, make sure that you hit the red subscription button and it will show you when any of my videos are uploaded so you don't miss out on them and it will subscribe you to my channel. It is absolutely free. And like I said, the only thing it will do is just let you know when my videos post to YouTube so that you don't miss out on them. It got me thinking now, should I take it or leave it out? It got me thinking now, and now I'm stuck in this loop again. It got me thinking now, should I take it or leave it out? What would happen if I talk to you? Got a feeling that I get a blue.
mirror was so satisfying to see being deep cleaned with this particular steamer. It left no streaks and the fact that it steam cleaned it was really awesome because honestly it took away all of the fingerprints, the dirt, the grime. I will say that there was a small amount of water on the mirror once I was done steam cleaning it. So I just took a paper towel and wiped it down once I was completely done with everything. But you could use a microfiber cloth or whatever you want. But I will say that this particular steamer does really well on mirrors. A another area that I winded up deep cleaning is the vent in the hallway. And honestly, the uh, transformation of this particular vent was so satisfying to see the uh, dirt and grime and dust literally just melted off the vent. It was just amazing to see. So I'm gonna jump into showing you that now. While I am showing you the before and after transformation of this hallway vent, I did want to take a moment to introduce myself just in case you are brand new and have not had a chance to check out my channel. My name is Becky. I am a stay-at-home mom of two young children and on my channel I do tons of realistic stay-at-home mom cleaning content like today's bedroom clean. I also do tons of clean with me content and I love to share deep cleaning motivation. So if you do enjoy today's video and this type of content, I would love if you would subscribe consider subscribing and joining my community.